<laughs> Hi besties. Okay, my hair is a little messy today because it's like half my natural hair. Look at these beautiful little ringlets. This is all my natural hair, like underneath. And then I just curled the top because I was feeling too lazy to curl all of my hair. And I feel like you kind of can't tell, except for the fact that I pointed it out. Today, we are going to do one of my favorite things ever, and that is go get coffee in Walt Disney World. Today, I am in my Christmas little Disney World sweater, but we are going to be having a holly jolly day going to a different coffee shop in Walt Disney World and trying to find the best Christmas coffee. The first stop we're gonna go to today is, drum roll, the first stop that I usually always go to and that is Everglazed at Disney Springs. It's the easiest to get to. I actually have no idea if they have any holiday drinks or not, but I know that they have like a year-round white peppermint mocha. I'm not really sure why. So we're either gonna get that or see if they have like a festive holiday drink. So let's go ahead and go to Disney Springs. It was the only holiday drink they have. They do have it year round. It's like a white peppermint mocha. And there's a little crushed candy cane on top. I'm so excited, so. It's pretty good. And also this is a cold brew. I really like it. I just love the size that you get. I think I paid like $6 for this and I get this whole gigantic thing. Because it rained, all of the tables are like super wet. So I'm squatting on the ground. Love that for me. I'm gonna mix it around. Make sure I get all the flavors. For the size, it gets an extra point. I give it a seven out of 10 for taste, but because of the size and that it's a cold brew, this will give you a lot of energy. So I give it an eight out of 10. I'm back in my car. I can already feel the coffee kicking in. Like my heart is beating so fast. I need water. I kind of knew this would happen because I got here like kind of late. I went to Gideon's, it was a virtual queue and they said it was a two hour wait, which I was not about to just be at Disney Springs by myself for two hours. Cause I either A, would have been bored out of my mind or B, I would have spent a lot of money. So I'm going home and we're gonna try again tomorrow. But I kind of thought like since the sun is setting to just have like a little sunset chat So recently I've been loving the holiday soundtrack. Oh, and I've been listening to the driver era I have a story for you guys. So if you don't know who the driver era is It is a band featuring Ross Lynch and Rocky Lynch. Ross Lynch is Austin and Austin and Ally And then Rocky Lynch is his brother. Ross Lynch was also Brady in Teen Beach movie I love him and I got to meet him the other day, which was so cool I was so lucky to get to go to the driver era era concert and I also got a chance to meet him and Rocky. I was able to like bring up the fact that I worked with Radio Disney because it just made sense in the conversation and he was like oh like Radio Disney like yeah I used to be on there all the time back in my Disney Channel days. I was internally freaking out. On the outside I was pretty cool I think but on the inside I was like mm, yeah this is like the coolest moment of my entire life. I don't say that to brag I say that just to like I guess fangirl. So I've been listening to their music nonstop. If you haven't listened to them, you definitely should. My favorite song right now is Heaven Angel. Also been listening to the holiday soundtrack because it just makes me feel something. So I'm gonna sit here and listen to the holiday soundtrack and watch the sunset. This is so dramatic for what? I'm back, it's the next day. I'm in a new outfit, but I can't figure out what I want to wear with the outfit. So I can either wear the red ears, but I also think the bucket hat is super cute. The bucket hat is giving me Blair Waldorf, Emily in Paris vibes. So the next coffee place we're gonna go to is the Riviera. I actually went there the other day, so I'm just gonna include clips from when I went the other day. But they have a Noel Blanc latte, which translates to White Christmas. I think the Riviera probably has to be like my favorite coffee shop. The only thing is, is that they don't really let you park there unless you have a dining reservation. So how I got there, I went to Hollywood Studios, parked there, and I walked over to the Skyliner, and then I Skyli- Does this bucket hat look stupid? I'm just like talking and I'm like, I feel like this looks dumb. So then I walked to the Skyliner and then I took the Skyliner to the Caribbean beach and then Caribbean beach to the Riviera. So it's a little bit of a hassle, but it's a lot easier than driving to Disney Springs and then taking the bus to the Riviera. So let's go to the Riviera. Snowflakes 
So I got my coffee and I've like drank half of it by this point because I was trying to get a picture. But this coffee is so good. I got it with regular milk, which like I think sometimes can make the taste a little weird. But other than that, I rate the coffee like an 8 out of 10. Now I'm just at the Riviera drinking my coffee, sitting down just alone, um, about to watch the sunset. And honestly, this is pretty relaxing. I decided that we're not gonna be going to Gideon's because although the coffee comes in a super cute like coffee sleeve, we have to get in the virtual queue for about two hours and I just didn't really feel like doing that today. So instead, we're gonna go to Epcot. They have two specialty coffees there. There's the Carolers Cold Brew, which I tried to get in my Festival of the Holidays vlog, but they like, weren't serving it so we're gonna try to get it today and then they also have a white chocolate gingerbread like a white gingerbread mocha drink so that's our next stop let's go okay guys i got the coffee this is what it looks like said there was like toffee and brown sugar and yeah. stickers and so much in it. Let's try it. Oh my god. That is so good. Oh my gosh. That is so good. I get that like a 10 out of 10. This might be my favorite so far. I wasn't thinking I would like it because I thought it would be too much but this is great. So I got this at the Joffrey's towards the entrance of Epcot on the left. So I'm going to go ahead and start walking to the World Showcase. I don't know if you can even hear me because the music is so loud. But I'm going to start walking towards the World Showcase and drink my coffee. And then by there's like I think four Joffrey's around the World Showcase. So I'm going to walk a little bit and then we're going to get our next coffee. Let's go take a nice little sunset evening stroll around Epcot. And so I'm in the one that is by Canada in between Canada and the UK So I got a white gingerbread latte, but it came with like The gingerbread syrup like a mini bottle. I think this is so cute. I could probably like reuse this If you guys remember my video where I went to the festival of the holidays and they weren't serving the syrups because of the bees I think this is their new way of doing it, which is honestly pretty smart So now I get to like make my own latte kind of fun so we're gonna make our own gingerbread latte. I have no idea how much to put in. Okay, let's try it. Kinda good. really good. I feel like I probably could put more gingerbread in it. Maybe I'll do a little bit more. Now I need to wash my hands, but that was so fun. I give the taste, it gets an 8 out of 10. It just doesn't taste like Christmas, but it tastes good. But then because it was like a fun little experiment, even though really I was the one being the barista, I give it a 9 out of 10. Guys, look at the sunset. go ahead and end the video here but I have to pick which coffee was my favorite so we had the Everglades white peppermint mocha cold brew we had the Riviera Noel Blanc latte we had Epcot the Joffrey's carolers cold brew and then we had the Joffrey's white gingerbread latte they were all pretty good they all kind of tasted the same at the end of the day but I would give I think the best coffee my favorite Christmas coffee I think my favorite one is the white gingerbread and that's just because I got to like make my own coffee like that was like super fun so I think my favorite coffee is that one from Joffrey's but I think the coffee that tasted the most like Christmas is the Everglazed cold brew because that one was it had like the candy cane on top like that one was the most Christmassy to me 
so yeah overall i had so much fun trying coffees in disney world it's like my favorite thing to do at this point thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm gonna go enjoy my coffee and walk around the world showcase but i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video bye